Hey, it's Dave from Bullpen Cycles, and we were back at the Daytona Speedway. This time for the spring Daytona Turkey Rod Run, which, huh? Yeah, it's a car show, but we're at the swap meet and we are gonna hunt for motorcycle stuff. Some kind of Suzuki. Now I think we have one of those. It's not a commando. It's not an Atlas. Looking at that crazy carburetor set up. Not sure. B Star. Yeah, yeah, true. Everybody's on a frenzy out there, right? So, yeah, that's a great bike. It starts Vulcan. It runs good. XL. XL 250. Yes, I'm with you. Oh. This you gotta see. <laughs> You see lots of choppers, but you don't see an aerial square four chopper. On those cars, you take the rear end car, you pull the pin out, you push the head, and you push off the natural boot. Yes. And it's a runner. Oh, here's something interesting. This is a Can Am 125 TNT, and it's really clean. Look how clean that is. Oh, I didn't know these had case fed induction. So I'm guessing this might be road registered because it's got turn signals and a horn. Looks like they added that. Oh, check out the matching can and helmet. Very cool. A little YZ80. It runs good, but it runs better with gas. Monoshock. It could be an 81. He said it was a 79, but that air can is on the top. I think it's an 81. RM85. 1500 bucks. Actually, looks pretty clean. Except for the chain slack. Those are Pirelli tires, so it's probably some sort of European wheels, but I don't recognize that frame. Pretty lightweight looking frame. Here's another Harley topper. This one's very nicely done. But the owner 
also lost spark. I don't know if it happened. Got an idea for you. I'm going to take mine back to the shop and fix it. Then when I figure out what's wrong with mine, I'll probably figure out what's wrong with yours because I'll be familiar with it. But I'm not going to deal with these low ballers. I, I am, dude. I'm done with it. Well, I have so many people who might look at But if I fix it for you. Good mechanics. Yeah? And but it's just electrical. I know. Why aren't they figuring it out? Don't Serial number 1614-69-CT70. That's an early one. Two XR75s. These are, this is what you call a complete restoration. Very nice. Thank you. Oh, it's NFS personal bike yeah but you can have the red one <laughs> uh, there's his phone number so that's a matador <laughs> 2008 fat bob 30,000 miles, $8,500. GZ250. Two grand. Typical Florida cosmetics. Florida's rough on yeah. aluminum. Here's a Cushman Eagle. Looks like a Makuni carb added. They have a following. I was never a fan. Check out the big hand shift. Bags for your Kawasaki Concours. Here we got a bunch of vintage helmets. And I think I recognize the one. Nope. I collect that map. There you go. You can be a dead duck. Well, it's gone. I forget how much it was. I think it was in the low threes. You know, the straight pipes didn't offend me. 874. 2510981 something I don't know if that's the original motor I don't think they're supposed to match but I think they might be close. You Honda people will know. A couple of cop Harleys. You don't always get to see these up close. Look at the LED lights. Palusa County Sheriff. There was a Bridgestone step through over here somewhere but I'm thinking it's gone I guess they pulled out Friday <laughs> 